Hello, this is a grade four rudimental workout. It's going to cover jazz, reggae, uh, halftime shuffle, and some other shuffle and swing rhythms around the kit. Um, I'm going to play it three first, and then I'll go through it bar by bar and explain how each one's played. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go through it one bar at a time. Bar one is your jazz swing rhythm. So the right symbol, one, two, a three, four, or one. And you're gonna put the left foot press on beats two and four. Your brain might wanna go one and three when you first try this, but it must be two or four. So one, two, a three, four. One, two, a three, four. And with that, we have the, the bass drum. Uh, playing the four beats of the bar, one, two, three, four. And we need to make sure we're feathering the bass drum. And it's we have our heel down and the beater is going to rebound off the skin, not burying it. It's a different job. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the second bar, it's the same again, but we have a ghosted snare on the last of the triplet to be one two a three four a one two a three four a one two a three four a one the third bar is the same as the first the fourth bar we have a single ratama cue so this is a rudiment we start off with a drag and that right hand that comes down is the first note of the triplet so it's a one and a two. We finish on the left hand and then we switch it with the bass drums. Just really try and make sure you get the separation from the drag notes, ghost notes, and the same when you switch it to your weaker hand. Okay, we repeat back to the start of the piece and we come through the top line again, but then we go to the second time bar, which will be bar five. This is the start of the second line. And this will be a right, left, left sticking. This is just a left hand uh, development exercise. So we've got, we're gonna crescendo through it. So one, two, and a three, and a four, and a. And it's just getting the, the placement of the double left to create that triplet feel, not one. Not one and a two, but one and a two and a three and a four and a. This uh, sticking pattern develops into bar six, and we come to the low tom. One and a two and a three and a four and the kick drums. This bar repeats three times. We come to the end of the second line, which is a para diddle diddle. We're going to put the right hand. Let's do the snare drum to begin with. So para diddle diddle. 
this rudiment isn't switching, it's always leading with the right. So we put a right hand on the low tom, exactly the same again. Para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle. And you'll notice all the left hands are ghosted. Now putting the bass drum in. Para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle. We carry on to line three. This is another very common jazz beat, jazz rhythm, but onto the hi hat, and we have the open, closed. Open, closed. Opens have the O, and closed are the plus above the hi hats. So, bar 11, double paradiddle. So, we're doing snare drum. Para, para, doodle. Para, para, doodle. Put your right hand on the hi hat. Para, para, doodle. Para, para, doodle. With the bass drums. Para, para, doodle. Para, para, doodle. Back to the rhythm again in bar 12. Open straight roll. The crescendo's through. Bar 14 is the same jazz rhythm again. And then into bar 15, flam taps. Flam tap. Flam tap. Put your right hand on the hi hat. Flam tap. Flam tap. Flam tap. The bass drums. And rhythm again in bar 16. Bar 17, we have one drag, triple it, triple it. And then bar 18, we have a reggae rhythm. And this is one of the most common types where the stress is on the third beat of the bar. So we have one, two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. So it's cross stick. I'm going to be a, a couple of inches in from your rim and keeping this part of your hand on the skin at all times, like a hinge motion. So one, two, and three, and four. Open, close. The end of the line, which is bar 21, we have these rim shot fills. That repeats around the reggae section. You can see the repeat brackets. And when we come to bar 21 for the second time, it says very fill on repeat. So you, you can move just the rhythm around. Just an example, you feel free to come up with your own ideas. Repeat it around and see what different ideas you can come up with. Bar 22 is a half-time shuffle. Now this is a whole lesson and beyond in itself, but here it is if you can already play it. I'll play it slowly. At the end of this line, which is bar 25, we have the single strokes uh, fill that's gonna move around the kit. So one and a two and a three and a four and a. Bar 26, right hand on the low tom. This is playing the same rhythm on the low tom that he was just playing for the half time shuffle. The back, the, both feet are on the beat. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Snare drum and two and four. One, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, and a four. One, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, and a four. Open. Last line. Scroll down. Flam accent. So, flam accent, flam accent. The hand that catches everyone out when you learn this is left, right, left, right, right, left, right. And you find you might put a left hand there. That's the most common one. Just look out for it. So, flam accent, flam accent, flam accent, flam accent, one and a two and a three. Four stroke rough. Uh, both way rounds. So start on the left, land on the right, start on the right, and you go on the left. And that completes the sheet. Start slowly. 
get it up to 110, maybe learn it first at 80, do 90, 100, 110, then try and play it to a click. Good luck. 